Okay, it's been months and a little other year since I've made a Pokemon video where I designed only Pokemon. But now I'm back and I'm ready to show three new regional variants for the Marahalia Mar region. First up, if you haven't guessed by the thumbnail, I'm finishing the Marahalian Bound Suite line. When I first made Marahalian Bound Suite, it was for OC Tober and design challenge that didn't really go anywhere. I'm glad I stuck with it, but I, most, if not all, of those Pokemon I designed during that challenge are going to need a redesign. But anyway, I always made Marahalian Bound Suite to be a to be continued line. There was no real plan. I originally wanted to make it switch from a with Itch Doctor at, as contrast to it being a fighter. But I decided to go with something a little more inspired. I looked into the inspiration behind Bound Sweet. It is based off a fruit called the Mongo Steam, the queen of all fruit. So, what's the king of all fruit? The answer is Durian. Surprisingly, I've heard of dur Durian before in a little show called Amphibia. It's awesome, go to check it out. Even though I feel like I needed more, more season to flesh everything out because everything kind of felt rushed at the end, but yeah. But anyway, I couldn't just make the Sarina line kingly, and I didn't know what I wanted to make this. I didn't want to just make this whole line masculine. I didn't want to make a whole new evolution, but I keep getting ideas for it now, but the designs are already done, so it doesn't really matter anymore. So I just went woman king, like the movie that came out a while ago. That's highly controversial. So the Agoje warriors, also known as the Homie Amazons, also known as Mino, which means our mothers in the native language, on top of being the inspiration for the Dora Milaje and Black Panther, were real warriors comprised of only women. It is said they could take down 40 elephants. And while I think that's a little far-fetched, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Now, basically, the Kingdom of Dahomey, modern-day Benin, would trade prisoners they took from other kingdoms and they take them to the slave trade to sell them for tobacco and alcohol and other stuff. Lots of not-too-great history. Now, Ben, is this really something you should be referencing in a Pokemon game? You know this is something for kids, right? And to that I say... Watch every uncensored episode of the Pokemon anime and just look at some Pokemon names. Blackie. <laughs> so now that this ever-growing info dump that I keep doing for the intros keeps getting longer and longer, just let's get into it. I gave this Pokemon a more rugged feeling to contrast the young princess that normal CD brings to its design. Instead of a big poofy skirt, it sports rotting fruit peels. It's similar to rags, or sort of skirts worn by African princesses. Instead of dancing around with its arms by its sides, it has its arms crossed, making an irritated pose. Instead of a kind, slightly spoiled tween, we have a bratty, rotten, spoiled child that demands everything it wants. I used yellow from real life Durian to emphasize that this Pokemon is toxic. And while I'm pretty sure Durian itself is not toxic, we're just saying that this Pokemon is poison type. The leaves on Marahot Alliance's body now covers its face, which is something normal Sarina does, but I used it in a way to imply that this Pokemon is so toxic even to itself. Steen, Marahalian form, the entitled Pokemon. Steen and the Marahali region are not a popular pick for trainers. Spoiled and entitled, Steen will throw tantrums unintentionally expelling a spousing toxin as it storms around. It will only back out now if an authority order gives your hand with child like fits, fits and poison gas. gas. This was the first Pokemon I designed for this video, and funny story, I had a whole different color scheme, but I changed it later to fit with Durian. But I did like that color scheme so much that I ended up making it the shiny. I wanted to make this Pokemon look, look above all else, toxic in both looks and personality. This arena is unnecessarily cruel, knows it, and thoroughly enjoys it. And while this is a 
this is true with regular Sarina, with its whole Pokedex entry saying that it just steps on Pokemon all the time. Our Hollyan Sarina is a little more sly. Well, well, regular Sarina flexes its royalty and just walks around like it owns the place. Sarina just walks up like it's a uh, witch offering a place for someone to stay at night. Should you accept, however, you will face dire consequences. Sarina, Mary Holly in form, the tyrant to Pokemon. Sarina will coat areas in odorous poison to hurt people in Pokemon into traps. The Sarina will then trade the, its prisoners for food it finds more enjoyable. When, when confronted, it will use its spikes and legs, gets scrapes and scratches, which is, which is all, all it needs to win any battle. It always gets what it wants in the end. This is the part where I ask you guys to subscribe, or at the very least, leave a like. I post on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. As you can see, I post the most on Instagram, but the other things are still worth following. Okay, now that the dark stuff is out of the way, let's get into a way more brighter design. These designs aren't based off of anything other than termites, termites in Africa. They create these huge mounds that I'm surprised don't take years for them to build. And I wanted to add a termite Pokemon as I'm a big fan of these bugs. When I first saw a Durant in an episode, I thought it was really cool and kind of scary. And when I put the pe in a paper, I thought, hey, I'm gonna make this guy friendly. Instead of a cool, cold, calculated machine, it's a warm, friendly, a little rusted construction worker. I tried to make it yellow like I did on the Instagram teaser, but that's when I noticed it kind of looked like Bumblebee. So after a little while trying to make it, make it look more orange and trying my hardest to make it look square without making it tacky, if that makes sense, I tried to add a little rust, but it didn't really work. So I just took a little bit of some junky bits and made it all muddy. It took some fine tuning, pun intended, but I was finally able to make this work. Durant, Mount Holly form, the construction worker Pokemon. In the past, Durant had been forced into alliances with humans by their predators. People and their Pokemon would protect Durant eggs, while Durant built everything, from furniture to small housing. Nowadays, Durant are happy to help build anything for anyone, and they are a staple Pokemon for construction workers. An entire colony of Durant can build a small village overnight. Alright, this has been a good Pokemon video. And for now, I'm gonna be peacing out but I will come back soon and make an update on what's to come for the channel, especially because I'm starting to get some free time because my school year is almost over and I'm finishing up all my assignments and I only have one real final test this year. So, see y'all later. Bye.